Hi right guys, welcome to RCTV UK's Roundup and News. And uh, I promise you, we've got something really worth waiting around for later on in this video. One of the funniest things that um, has happened on one of the Facebook multi-rotor groups. Uh, um, I'll share with you later on in the video, but there was this guy... I'm not going to spoil it, I'll save it for later on in the episode. So first up guys... Um, Stone Blue Airlines, Jeremiah, has opened his new web store. Um, we said we'd give him a shout out. I actually ordered um, from them last week. Everything's a right mess here at the moment with the prototyping, uh, prototyping of the triplane. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to find it, but uh, with the prototyping of the triplane. Is that all over the back? No. Um, as you can see, really organised with a prototyping of the triclone and I'm also working on a vector build on the bench at the moment. Uh, we're going to do the RCT 800. I don't know whether you can just see the tip of the arm there. But the RCT 800 is going to have a night vision camera on it and the vector. We're going to have some fun with that. So really busy at the moment, but I did get... Uh, a delivery from Stone Blue Airlines last week. I ordered one of the um, um, the dipoles uh, that you can have shooting out the back of the quad. I'm going to be using that on the uh, the vector setup. I thought it'd be a nice way to test. Just I'll just keep flying until um, I lose signal, and you know get the vector to fly itself back or not, as the case may be. But I'm pretty confident it will. Uh, so, um, go over and check out the website. Um, the guys at Stone Blue Airlines are very, very keen to make sure that they only stock the best gear, the most reliable items. Um, but of course, they stock all the video aerial system stuff from Alex Grieve. They have really, really top quality stuff. If they use it, then it's in the store. And these guys aren't using second-rate gear. So it really is worth a, uh, a check out. Um, and actually, while we're on the subject of Stone Blue Airlines, I'm now going to hand over to Jeremiah. He's got some things to let you know about for you guys out in the States. Hey guys, it's Jeremiah of Stone Blue Airlines. Uh, this is the official invite to come to uh, our first FPV fly-in. Uh, it's called the Flying Circus FPV Festival. And we really hope you can, uh, can come out and, uh, and join us in some fun and some mayhem. Uh, it's going to be October 10th, 11th, and 12th. I know it's short notice, but heck, what do you guys else have to do? You're going to fly that weekend anyway. Might as well come out and fly with us. So Stone Blue Crew is going to be there. Video Aerial Systems is going to be on hand. I put Ivy Crazy in charge of some awesome uh, obstacle course races, uh, both fixed wing, multi-rotor. We're going to cover it all. Uh, the uh, Facebook page has a lot of information on it, so hit that. We also have the uh, uh, group event that's on Facebook for the Flying Circus Festival, FPV Festival. Um, bring your FPV rig or bring your line of sight. I really don't care. We just want you there. We want you hanging out, having some fun. If it's your first time, you haven't gotten into FPV yet and you just want to learn about it, we'll be on hand to help you with it, answer questions. Uh, we'll be doing some Chimera and Spectre demos. So you're going to see a whole fleet. You're going to see a lot of product, uh, quads, uh, just the whole nine yards. We'll have a lot of stuff on hand. And for guys that want to order or pick up stuff, I'll be happy to do special orders and just deliver it to save you guys on some shipping if you're coming to the show. So we really hope you come out. Um, also, if you hit uh, stonebluearlines.com, then hit the hanger or forward slash hanger if you're on the web. Uh, and you can go ahead and sign up and that's uh, $30 to come to the event. That includes a $20 SBA Stone Blue Airlines Edition t-shirt. Uh, this is no cheapy beefy tee. This is a good high quality shirt I like to wear and I think you'll like to wear as well. So we're including that and then the rest of the money just goes to pay for some signage uh, and then also some uh, articles so that we can put on a great show and have some fun. So guys, I appreciate your support watching the channel. When you go to the store, you support what we're doing with Stone Blue Airlines, our custom builds, everything else, and just supporting what we've done over the last uh, 
gosh, almost two and a half years the show has, has been online and excited about the full launch. So guys, this is specifically for the show, but if you haven't been to the hangar and the store yet, I encourage you to check it out because that's where you're gonna need to hit to, uh, to go ahead and get your ticket for the show. Come on out, bring, your, uh, bring whatever you've got to fly, come and hang out with us, have a good time, and we look forward to seeing you here. So there you go, guys, Stone Blue Airlines Flying Circus. If you're going to be around on the, I believe, the weekend of the 10th of October, why don't you get yourselves down and say hello to the guys there. Looks like it's going to be a really good fun FPV meet. I'm sure there'll be gear for sale on there. So if you're just at a loose end, you're not up for flying, but you need some kit, I'm sure there'll be some good deals to be had down there on the day. So the first video news that I've got this week is on the Rioch uh, or Rico WGM1. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Rioch, Rico. If you want to tell me in the description, please do. Um, they're the same guys that uh, make the Pentax cameras. Now they've come out with this cheap action camera. No, it's, no, they haven't come out with a cheap action, but they've come out with a, a sort of GoPro beta or a GoPro um, to sit next to on the GoPro sh on the shelf, you know, uh, in competition with the GoPro. And I'll tell you what, I'll roll in a bit of footage of their promo video now. So, what did you think, guys? It's like a crap version of a GoPro, and it's the same money, so I don't really get it. Um, that is my personal opinion. Um, it doesn't have the same frame rate. There's no 4K. It looks like a, an 80s or 90s toy. I don't know what they were thinking, but whatever it is, go back and have another go, guys, because that was terrible. Um, a good friend of mine, Jacques, over at uh, Syndromes, has just come out with what is, in my opinion, the most beautiful quadcopter ever built. Uh, Jacques has been building some incredible multi-rotors over the last few years. Um, one of them uh, which lifted 75 kilos at about a third throttle, uh, a massive, massive uh, uh, eight, uh, octocopter, I believe, um, with a massive pay, uh, payload carrying capability. Um, the guy that owns it is actually going to lift himself with the quadcopter at some point in the future, so we'll share that video. Anyway, the F4, Sin F4, is going to be available soon. The final testing uh, is being done on that. That if you are looking for a stunning, really well built quadcopter, then I really do recommend that you go over and take a look at uh, Jacques' page, Syndrome's. They're on Facebook, and of course, there will be a link in the description below the video to Jacques' website. Hey, what's going on, guys? Jacques here. Welcome back for another episode of Syndrome Time. And today, I'd like to show you the latest addition to the Syndrome fleet, the Syn F4 specially designed for the GoPro cameras out there and the GoPro gimbals out there. It has certain holes, special holes to just mount like a DYS gimbal or the Zenmuse gimbal. So plug and play, no hassle, drilling holes, whatever. You can just mount them real easy. We're talking 40 centimeters from left to right and I'm spinning 13 inch at the moment. I initially made it for 12 inch but I've been testing with 13 inch as well and I kind of kept it on 13 inch so kind of really like that. Flying with 10,000 milliamps at the back here. It results in, and, uh, and the U3 motors from T-Motor, it results into like 14, 15 minutes. I'm going to try with the Tattoo LiPo pretty soon. I'm going to get some from those guys and I'm going to see uh, if there's any difference in flying time. For now, I've been using these uh, Nanotex 10,000 milliamps. It's doing pretty good. I'm using a, a Wokung system on here, maybe a bit of an overkill, but it flies really, really nice. I have some video at the end of this video so you can see how it performs, SYN F4, check it out on the Facebook side or my website, it'll be out there pretty soon, I'll be taking it into production, so 
just uh, you'll see it coming and uh, this is it sitting at four guys thanks a lot for watching i'll see you next time So that's all the news for this week. I guess we better deal with uh, video of the week for last week. Um, I thought it would be a hands down win for number five third person tractor drive in by Captain Average. Um, that would have got my vote. It was uh, an incredible video. It's not something that you see all the time. Uh, and it, you know, the votes down below pro proved that number five was the winner. So well done, Captain, uh, Captain Average. Well done to you, Captain Average. And guys, if you've got a video of your own that you really think is worthy of putting forward, um, not something poorly formatted in 4x3, um, you know, aspect ratio with all the bars and, you know, just wind noise and poor audio and poorly looking video, it doesn't have to be perfect, you don't have to be Steven Spielberg, but something in sort of the right aspect ratio 
um, with some good content in there, maybe a little decent bit of editing. Doesn't have to be anything flash, but worthy of going up for video of the week. Please send me a link. Um, you can either PM me on YouTube or come over to our Facebook page, rctv.co.uk, um, over on Facebook. Send us a PM there, and we will put your video up for video of the week. Okay, so over to this week's selection. First up, we have MPX 230 uh, gimbal testing. So let's take a look at that now. Okay guys, next up, one of my favourite YouTubers from the MIDI quad community is Riser, and Riser has put an FPV multi-rotor flying compilation video from his last year's worth of videos. Um, Riser's a really good FPV pilot, he knows his stuff, if you're looking to find out about kit, he's used most of it, and what wasn't any good, he's thrown away. So, take a look at Ryan's video now. Something a little different, um, we've got a video from Joey Jean, which is a friend of mine out there in the States. Um, Joey is a really good builder, he has some really, really innovative ideas and designs on his website. He builds quadcopters for a living. Um, Joey really is at the cutting edge of a lot of the stuff out there and he's get playing with some really uh, technical kit. Now, this video shows him flying with a FLIR TAU 324. Take a look at Joey G's video with me now. Hey guys, Joey G here. And in this video, we're just going to talk about the uh, new FLIR TAU 324 for the Matrix E. And we just have it mounted here with a simple tilt mechanism. And we have uh, some vibration dampeners there, built a little case around it, just using some aluminum spacers. Now here's one that I didn't expect to be showing for video of the week. This is a build video by Flow Hio 117. Hope I've got your YouTube name correct there, Flow. Um, this is a, a build video of a blackout mini he hex. Now um, Flow's video editing style made me laugh, and um, the video's got a good sort of pace to it. Um, he puts together one of the tidiest builds. Now, you may not be interested in a blackout mini hex after seeing the video, I have to say I was quite impressed. But more than anything, this guy is a fantastic builder. Take a look at this build from 
um, from Flow High 017. Hello everybody and welcome to the Blackout Mini Hex build video. In this video I'll show you how to professionally build a Blackout Mini Hex. Brought to you by DroneWorksUSA.net. DroneWorks USA was created for individuals looking to buy the highest quality ready to fly aircraft they possibly can. Okay now onto the build process. I'm going to show you how I took these and turned them into those over Okay guys, so only four videos this week for video of the week because I've been busting a gut trying to get the triclone testing and prototyping done and get this vector up in the air. I haven't really had a lot of time to review um, videos and put them in myself. So if you could help me with that by suggesting some videos, send me a video. You know, you'll get it on the show. You'll get some traffic from us. We get to see your video. It's a good uh, back scratching situation for all of us. Um, and I do enjoy watching your videos, guys. So please, please keep sending them in. Um, so video one this week is MPX 230 uh, gimbal test. Number two is Riser FPV compilation. Number three is Joey G, uh, Joey G flying with the thermal camera. And number four is blackout the blackout build, and that is from Flow High 117. Please leave me your votes in the description below this video, and I will see you all next week.